Clarelise Yao Jen Liang Palmer. Clarelise, this is a good name, a special name, a name that I love, but I wasn't always fond of it. I used to get so embarrassed when teachers would try to take attendance, get to my name instead of K, K, uh, sorry, last name Palmer. Eventually, I shortened it to Claire, partly for convenience and partly because I played lots of sports and my teammates needed a shorter name to yell at me during games. I cut the I out in college because, well, there's no I in my real name. Yao Jen is my middle name. My popo's name was Yao. My mom's name is Su Yao, meaning little Yao in Cantonese. I can't hear it, but the intonation in my Yao isn't the same as the Yao in my maternal lineage names. It still feels close to my heart, and I'm told that in Cantonese, Yao Jen roughly means always a good friend. Liang is my mom's last name. I guess I haven't ever been sure if this is my second middle name or my first last name, but I feel connected to this name, my mom, her independence, her spirit, bravery, and strength. Palmer is a name I have never felt super connected to on its own, maybe just because there are so many Palmers out there who feel distant and unrelated, but as a teacher, I spend a huge chunk of my life being addressed by my last name. Students call me Palmer for the most part, although some call me Palmy. One calls me Palms, and honestly, any nickname I've ever had actually stems from my last name. See Palms, see Palm Trees, see Pizza, see PK, just plain CP. When I told my best friend I was thinking of changing my name, she said, what? Why? Just go by CP. And she's right. I have literally so many existing options. Why add another name to the mix? But for whatever reason, in the thick of all of these names, all these names that I love, I still can't seem to find one that feels just right right now. Claire and they, them pronouns don't fit together in a lot of people's brains. Even my girlfriend's therapist, who specializes in working with gender expansive folks, reportedly often misgenders me and then apologizes to my girlfriend saying, sorry, it's just so hard with a feminine name. And as much as I love my name, I also love my gender. I love being non-binary, I love being them and referred to as they and my things are theirs, but so often when I am misgendered, I feel it can be in large part because of my name. So I have been thinking about my name, about changing it, about finding another name in the existing names, adding to the already complex mess. Charlie? It sounds like Clara Lee's kind of, and I could still be CP. Lee? Like Lee Young? Clara Lee's? I don't quite know right now. I don't know if I'll change it. I don't know what it would be. All I really know is that I am thinking a lot about my name, and I do love my name. <laughs>